I had a completely different video planned for today, but um, guess we're doing this instead. <laughs> Hi, it's your local Lord Farquaad here. <laughs> I'm not wearing any makeup, I can't be asked. Also, I'm sorry for this lie, I'm filming at half one in the afternoon, and I usually don't film till the evening. I usually do stuff at night, but it's also currently the Easter holidays or spring break as most people call it. So I can film in the middle of the day. Uh, so, get into the video. So, James Charles, um, famously known beauty guru, Instagrammer, catfisher, however you want to call him, uh, has gone into some hot water. And apparently I'm Chris Hansen. No, it's honestly disgusting and disturbing that the past now three videos have been on people being gross with kids. It's just... I don't want to be all save the children, but save the children. Now basically, James Charles has been now catfishing underage kids. Well, not even It's not even catfishing, it's just talking to underage lads, it's disturbing really. Like, he's been talking to 16 year olds basically, but... So basically, uh, some guys have been coming out with some allegations against James. And quite frankly, they seem very strong. They have the receipts, they've got the screenshots, they've got everything. So basically what had happened is it's kind of started like sometime last year during the lockdown. And basically, uh, James had been messaging an underage lad, I think he was 16, 17 at the time, in a not so PG way if you get what I mean. So obviously this is illegal and it's um, the G word which I'm going to put on screen because um, try not to get in trouble with YouTube. Oop. Uh, basically he's been doing that to underage kids. So the first one came out in lockdown last year but the way he went about it makes me think that this guy was 18 but he was trying to get some clout. Basically um, he was talking to James Charles on Instagram which by the way if you're a celebrity don't use Instagram to find people because that screams trouble I'm not even a celebrity I know that I'm also in a relationship so I wouldn't do that anyway so yeah this kid called him out on TikTok and basically James did ask how old are you but he sent it in a disappearing message and he said that he was 16 but the way he went about it seems very clout chase free. Like he was like, oh, like for part two. And it's like, is this legit? So lots of people think this guy was just clout chasing, which I'm 50 50 on it. Part of me thinks he might have done, but part of me thinks like he wasn't, but he was trying to use the situation to get followers in a way. I don't know. No one knows. Just. Okay, yeah, that one's a little sus, but that is one allegation. Then the second person came forward saying that he told James that he was 18, but James didn't ask for any ID. You would have thought after being cancelled the first time for it, he would ask for ID. So he was saying it because he wanted to talk to James Charles, which obviously that's a power imbalance. He's a 16 year old lad, he's going to want to talk to James Charles, he obviously likes the guy. So obviously, talking to him, he started getting a little sexual and was like, Mmm, I don't think so, Chief. Like, this is a bit sus. Called him out for it. Rightfully so. James didn't really get cancelled. Then it happened a third time, like, not even a week later. And, like, it's mad. Like, the same shit happened. Now, James is, you know, a multi-millionaire. Why isn't he like using celebrity dating apps or like paying someone to find him a boyfriend? Like, why are you using Instagram? And people started to find like old clips of him from like, I think it was like Logan Paul's podcast of him saying, oh, I like high school boys, but then backtracks by saying high school seniors, like when they're 18. So, it is kind of sus that he wants to talk to underage lads and part of me feels like there's something suspicious happening here. Basically, James is a nonce. 
I can't really say the P word, so we're just using Northern English at this point. Yeah, if you don't know what nonce is, um, it means this. Again, not saying it because I'm not one to get in trouble with YouTube, so. And we know how strict they are. Rather than not get my channel taken down, I actually enjoy making videos, even though it takes me fucking weeks to upload. But yeah, like, there are people who have been cancelled over one allegation. For example, Call Me Carson. You know, got called out for talking to underage fans or whatever. He's now off the internet. Good. They should be. People like that should not have a platform. This has happened to James Charles three times and more people are coming out against it. One girl who went to his high school uh, also said that James Charles also catfished like the entire football team or whatever. Or I think it was baseball. An entire team of lads who played sport at his school to get their nudes. But he's catfishing them as a woman. When y'all gonna realize that ca he's a catfish? Is it just me or does like everybody from the 518 just know that James Charles catfished his whole high school soccer team for all their nudes and like nobody ever says anything but I've talked to so many people in the 518 about like James Charles and they're like oh my god you know the catfish situation like we all know it but all the people from his hometown just don't say anything like what the worst thing is Morphe is still supporting him like if we take for example Shane and Jeffrey last year they had such a brutal cancellation. Morphe dropped them like that. James Charles has had a lot of scandals recently. He's been dropped from Instant Influencer. He's kind of been chased off the internet, but he's trying to like keep things going in a way. Like, he just doesn't address it. He just carries on like usual, which is a really bad way to handle things. But it's messy it's gross but morphe still haven't dropped him and the reason i think that is because of the bi sister scandal now if you don't know about bi sister i'm not going to go for it it was a whole goddamn oh it, it was messy uh tldr for bi sister basically uh three people in their 30s tried to cancel a 19 year old boy and then it turns out that the allegations were false and they were just trying to sell a makeup palette as I said, it was messy. So I do think that Morphe is trying to be like, well, this might be a bi-sister kind of thing, when in reality, it's not. It's a gross sister kind of thing. I mean, to be fair, I think a lot of the internet kind of redeemed James Charles because he came out with a video called No More Lies, basically debunking everything that uh, Tati, Shane, and Jeffrey accused him of. And honestly, it worked. Most people liked him after that, so... Including me. I literally bought his palette, like, in August 2020. It was during lockdown, and I got into uni. I was like, you know what? Let's buy myself something I've been wanting for a while. Part of me regrets this now because of all the allegations, so... It also was £50, because I had to pay for customs. And then I saw it in a local drugstore a few days later, and I was like, well, fuck my drag. But no, the whole thing's gross, messy, and uh, long story short, James shouldn't be on this. He shouldn't have a platform, period. He should go. Go get a real job. Go off the internet. You're not welcome here. But yeah, no, it's gross, it's disgusting. I don't know how he's gonna come back from this. I personally don't think he should. I mean, Trisha Paytas and Ethan Klein, they have been calling him out. Like, if you asked me a year ago, what's my view on Trisha Paytas, I probably would have said, like, oh, don't like her, she's kind of a bitch. I just, that light is really triggering me. Hold on. I feel like that's a little better. Is it? No. Mm. That'll have to do. I, I just... That's better. This video is a mess. I'm sorry. <laughs> but no, basically, um... What was I saying? Oh yeah, if you asked me a year ago what my view was on Trish Paces, I probably would have said that she's a bitch, she's a troll, I don't like her cancel her off the internet however she has kind of made a redemption of herself through the frenemies podcast which she's doing with ethan klein which was the most unlikely hello 
This apartment's fucking haunted, I swear. But no, basically, uh, yeah, it's the most unlikely of friendships, her and Ethan Klein. But basically, she started dating Ethan's brother-in-law, Moses, so... Is what it is. Oh. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> but anyway, no, uh, I am going to make a video about the Frenemies podcast because I kind of love it, so... So anyway, they've been calling him out left, right, and centre, and rightfully so. Like, Ethan Klein's been making, like, TikToks about him, which are fucking hilarious to me. So Ethan Klein did have TikToks out, but they all got taken down because, um, James Charles reported them. And they got taken down by TikTok, so there were some funny ones, but I'll include uh, a couple of other ones that aren't as funny, but you get the gist, you know? Hi sisters, I want to address the allegations that I've been sexting with this boy. He lied to me and said he was 18. This little boy is a predator and lied about his age. Okay, bye sisters! She make it clap, clap, clap. She make it clap, clap. She make it. Yeah. Yeah. She make it clap. But yeah, it's gross, it's messy, and James should be off all platforms. Murphy should drop him because I don't know how you can come back from this. Like, this isn't biases to where everything was alleged. This is real victims, got a real proof, and taking down James Charles, which they should. Like, it's disgusting. Apparently some of the victim's parents have gone to the police with all the evidence, obviously, because this is a crime and this is serious and it is horrible. So obviously charges should be pressed in this. So basically James Charles, uh, by sister, go to prison. Don't go past start and collect money. Go, go prison. No. Also, he's trying to deflect away from this because he's allegedly starting a new podcast, which... There was basically like a screenshot of a channel and it has like one photo on it and it's a new account and James Charles is following it so everyone's like, podcast? Probably. But he's trying to like distract people from what's happening, which it's not working. You're a fucking clown, mate. Flashback fairy is shook. <laughs> Oh god, imagine being aware of James Charles so long you remember Flashback Mary. That was all over the insta for like a month. So with that being said, James Charles is disgusting. I really hope that the victims, you know, get some justice out of this and some peace. Tell me what you think. Do you think James Charles is gross? You probably should. I mean, proof's in the pudding. Um, so it's a month later. Oops. <laughs> uh, no, while I was editing this, um, a lot more stuff about James Charles came out, and I was like, oh shit, can't really upload and not address all this, because it's a lot. But, um, depression hit, and so did about 50 assignments, so we're addressing it a month late, Jesus Christ. It's 2nd of May when I'm recording this, God knows what the somethings of May is going to be when I upload because um, James Charles isn't exactly a hot topic but I thought I'd continue so I'm actually pretty proud of this so I mean I've got different makeup a different outfit and a new piercing but um let's get into it I guess out no basically I need to blow my nose basically I need to blow my nose I hate having gay fever, that's the worst. Ugh. Gross. So, basically, there's been 16 people who came out against James Charles. Do with that what you will. Um, and I don't think he's going to come back from this. Like, I know usually when a YouTuber is cancelled, it's usually because they're like, they said the N word like 10 years ago, which is bad, but they're usually like, sorry. I've changed and then they bounce back. Take for example PewDiePie or Laura Lee, they all bounce back. Well, Laura Lee less so, but then again that apology just killed her off. Like, if there was an Oscar for world's worst acting, she'd take it instantly, you know? So much positive. It's the hardest thing I've ever done. It's 
hey, I talked to the 16 underage kids. There could be more, and kids just don't want to come out because they're scared or whatever, which is understandable. But that's still a lot. Like, even if it's one, it's still bad. But, um, yeah, things aren't looking good for James. Like, he hasn't uploaded, he had an apology. Yeah, he uploaded an apology, and that was the last thing, where he basically passed off all of these um, minors and, like, talking to them as he's desperate, which... <sighs> I was desperate during lockdown. Believe me, like, during lockdown, I was desperate as hell. I was on Tinder. I'm stuck in a two-year contract to eHarmony, give them £10 a month because I was desperate. But did I go out of my way to talk to underage kids? The answer's no, because that's fucking gross. And everyone was, like, looking at Morphe during this, which is basically a makeup company he is affiliated with because he has his own palette with them. I have the palette. If I knew this shit was happening, I wouldn't have bought it, but I bought it over lockdown as a congratulations, you got into uni, here's something you've been wanting for a while. So I forgot that I showed everyone uh, the palette in, like, the first half of this video, purely because, like, I filmed the first half a month before. So I, I didn't know whether I like said that I bought the palette or not, so just disclaim as to why I'm showing it to you again. So yeah. <laughs> I might deform this just to take the piss out of James Charles because uh, we do not stand. Yep, James Charles palette by Morphe. Just showing her off a little. But uh, basically everyone was like, uh, Morphe, why haven't you dropped James Charles yet? And they didn't for a long time, like, they only dropped him, I think, about a week ago. About a week ago, a week ago. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, apparently, um, Morphe just weren't responding, and then they came out saying, we're going to slow down the sales of the Morphe x James Charles collection. It's like, excuse me? Now, the reason why this kind of took everyone by surprise was because back in summer last year when Shane and Jeffrey were being horrifically cancelled, um, Morphe was like, um, we are stopping this, we're no longer affiliated. Let me get up, like, the actual statements. Oh yeah, this is a statement made by Morphe via their Twitter. Today we've made the decision to cease all commercial activity related to Jeffree Star and affiliated products. We expect this to conclude within the coming weeks. As we look to to the future, we will continue to share updates on what lies ahead for the Morphe brand. So very straight to the point, very, we're gonna stop all this infinitely, like, bad. Jeffrey's a racist, which we already been knew, like, I don't know who was surprised when it came out that Jeffrey was a racist, because we've known for a long time. So Morphe then tweets out with James, in light of recent allegations against James Charles, Morphe and James have agreed to end our business relationship and wind down sales of the Morphe X James Charles product offering. It is and has always been Morphe's goal to create a positive, safe and empowering space where all beauty lovers can freely share their artistry and passion for cosmetics and Morphe is committed to furthering that goal. Two very different tones. like. Morphe's was very harsh, very to the point, very, um, we're stopping this immediately. Morpheus, we're gonna slow things down, stop eventually, like, make it make sense. So, it was very different, it's not very, it's extremely different. What was I trying to say? <laughs> Having a stroke. So, obviously, they're two very different, which kind of makes us think Morphe is... Mm, they there's a little bit of bias with Morphe, but um yeah that was shocking was it shocking no but because everyone was kind of like getting at Morphe like why so work with James he's a literal pedophile so that's what we had with that also um YouTube have completely stop running ads on his channel for now um it's happened before where like youtube's got some hot water youtube's like okay we're gonna take away your ads on your channel but then within a month they're back on it happened with shane last year his ads were gone for a while but then came back it happened with logan paul when he went to japan there was a whole
by the forest incident and YouTube removed ads and then a few months later they came back on so we'll see what happens there but <laughs> the plot thickens um, basically one of the parents of one of the teens who spoke out against James their parents are actually taking James to court which we'll see what happens there I mean I don't know how you can not convict him because there's so all the messages and there are 16 16 allegations against him I'm surprised if he doesn't go to jail so that's basically what's been happening with Mr. Jammer Chawls. I'm gonna name the video that Jammer Chawls. But yeah, it's pretty disgusting. It's pretty gross. Let's hope justice is served. Hopefully. So yeah, that's it. So that's it. That's the video. I just knocked the table. Oops. Thank you for watching. Um. I don't know when this video will come out. I, I need to get better at, like, uploading. Because, like, I was pretty consistent. But then, like, my uni was just like, here's loads of assignments. Because it's, like, the end of the year. So, like, winding down by giving us more assignments. Like, I've got an assignment due in a week. I haven't looked at it. And I'm very confused at what to do anyway. Love that for me. Uh, next week I'm going to be filming all week because it's production week and I'm a film student, so... Ooh. Um, I've got three more weeks and then we should be done. And then hopefully I can upload more. <laughs> so, that's it. That's the video. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that shit. Um, love you all endlessly. Bye. I just came up with a new outro. All my outros have always been, I don't know how to end these. And I just said, we have a new outro and it's love you all endlessly.